Hey everyone, so I was asked to do a video about Android Auto, uh, so I'll do that here. Uh, the two things that you need to run Android Auto uh, are the Z-Link app and of course an Android phone with Android Auto installed. So the Z-Link app, you can get to it in one of two ways. Uh, you can either go to Apps, uh, and it is in mine over here, it's Z-Link, uh, or you can uh, go up here and, and press this car auto uh, button. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, press that. Um, so you'll see the Z-Link Zigenova. Um, the latest version is 3.5.37 uh, and you should have these three icons if you have the Mark III. Uh, by the way, this uh, only works with the Mark III. If you have one of the older devices, you're going to have to buy a dongle, which you can get on Amazon or on AliExpress or wherever you get this stuff. Um, but for the Mark III, everything's built in. You don't need any dongles. Um, so what you got to do is you got to take your Android phone once you've opened the app. Um, uh, so take take your Android phone. The first time it's a good idea to unlock it. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, so there you go. It's now unlocked. Uh, and then take take the USB. Uh, take the U USB cord. Uh, and plug it in. Uh, it it doesn't matter which of the USB sockets you plug it into. It doesn't have to be the one that says OTG. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, plug this in. Uh, just give me a second here. Uh. Alright, there we go. So that's now plugged in. Uh, and the first time you do it, uh, your phone's going to show up uh, on this screen just automatically. Uh, so go ahead, it'll say allow your car to access notifications. Uh, just go ahead and click continue. Um, and then it'll say just a second. And while, while your car just says waiting, because your phone needs to set up uh, Android Auto. So let's just give this a second. Yeah, and just go ahead and press continue. And there you go. It comes right up on your uh, on your screen. Uh, so this is this is the Android Auto interface. Um, you'll see it. It is half screen. Uh, there is no way to make it full screen. There is no way to split screen it. Uh, and there is no way to do it wirelessly. So unlike uh, unlike CarPlay, uh, this phone has to be connected to uh, to USB. But once you uh, once you connect it, it should work very well. Uh, and the one thing that you can do with Android Auto that you, uh, as it stands, can't do with the unit itself is um, invoke the assistant. So here we go. Okay, Google. And, and you can see there it starts to listen for your commands. Stop. And there you go. Um, so you can you can use play music, you can use maps, uh, you can use basically any any app you want. Um, but it, uh, it will all be uh, half screen. Uh, and, and then to disconnect Android Auto, you can first of all uh, exit back into your car's interface. Uh, to start it up again, you can just press this uh, car auto icon. Uh, whoops. Uh, the car auto icon or, or go, back to, uh, go back to apps. And uh, just click uh, Z-Link again. So there's Android Auto, comes right up. Uh, if you... By the way, if you pull the cord out, uh, just show you, this is what happens when you pull out the cord, it'll just go back to waiting. And once your phone is set up, uh, if you plug it in again, here I'll show you, uh, you don't have to set it up every time. So I just plug the cord back in, uh, and there it just comes right up for you. 
Uh, so anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, that's that's about it for Android Auto. I, I should say there is another app out there called um, Head Unit Reload, Reloaded uh, that you can use instead of the Z-Link app. Uh, Head Unit Reloaded, uh, it comes with a bit more uh, features. It is Android Auto only. It does not work for CarPlay. Uh, and, and it gives you a little bit uh, more options, but it is uh, more buggy. Uh, and it's still, as far as I could figure out, it's still half screen and it's still wired only. Although the, the developer there is is making some inroads towards wireless and, and full screen Android Auto. I just don't think they're there yet. But if you want to check that out, it's called Head Unit Reloaded. You can go ahead and Google that uh, or punch it into XDE developers. Uh, that app does cost some money. Uh, it's I think seven dollars or something, so not not a lot of money, but but it's just an alternative to to Z-Link. The one thing I will say to to be careful with is you don't want to be running both apps at the same time; they will interfere with each other. Uh, so just if you're going to install Head Unit Reloaded, maybe um, on a, I, either uninstall Z-Link or or disable it. Um, if you don't have the latest version of Z-Link, which is uh, the, uh, here, I'll just unplug it and tell you what version that is, uh, here, uh, the 3.5.37, uh, if you don't have that, uh, just check the, uh, check the Facebook group, uh, search for, for the APK, and you'll have to install the APK to, to get the latest version, uh, and you will want to, um, check out my latest video on how to install apps. That's all I have today. If you have any questions, uh, let me know below. Thanks very much.